A Tesla driver says that he's not sure if he unalived a pedestrian because he was on autopilot. Now, the 42-year-old first denied having even unalived a woman with a Tesla. It was a hit and run. Is now claiming that he can't remember if he ran her down or not. And if he did, he says he must have been on autopilot. And he's checking his work emails while doing so. In late January, an affidavit revealed that the driver's cell phone was near Lake Millie's Lacks, north of Minneapolis, when a car fatally struck a 56-year-old Kathy Ann Donovan, who was walking her dog along a nearby highway in November before fleeing the scene. Police officers found a windshield wiper near the body and surveillance footage of a gray 2022 Tesla Model X lined up with the cell phone records. Investigators also found light damage to the front passenger side of the vehicle and have since collected hair samples from three locations per report. Officers say they think they've established enough probable cause with the local county sheriff, Kyle Burton. Now, no charges have been filed yet. The Tesla driver's attorney, David Riss, however, is already resorting to a bizarre line of argument. My client voluntarily spoke to investigators and he explained it was probable his car would have been using Tesla's full self-driving capacity. And he told the newspaper, referring to the EV maker's infamous driver assistant add-on. He will continue to fully cooperate with this investigation until its completion. Who doesn't remember striking a woman and running her down? See, this is your lupo, Elon Musk. And they've buried this story pretty good because they don't want to hurt Tesla industry. Will insurance companies cover such accidents? And does autopilot make a difference? Hail to the no, country crazy out.